Sometimes your watch band clasp will wear out before your watch band does. If you don't want to replace your whole watch band, you can always replace the clasp itself. Use this guide from Esslinger.com to learn how to change a basic trifold watch band clasp. How do you know if your watch clasp is a basic trifold clasp? When the clasp is open, there will be three metal plates and two joints. When it is closed, the two lower plates will fold under the clasp that matches the watch band style. To replace your trifold clasp, you will need a spring bar tool, a ball peen hammer, a pin pusher, band holder, a digital gauge, a parts tray, an extra friction pin, and a replacement trifold clasp. The first thing to do will be to remove the old clasp. Place the watch band in the watch band holder and use your pin pusher and ball peen hammer to tap the friction pin out. The friction pin will be on the split end of the clasp, like this. Once the pin is free from the watch band, set it aside in your parts tray. You may need to use a pliers to pull the pin out of the clasp. Next, we will remove the other side of the clasp from the band. The tip of the spring bar will be visible on the outside of the clasp. Take your spring bar tool. Using the pointed end, push down on the spring bar to compress it. Then angle your spring bar tool to slide the watch band and compress spring bar out of the clasp. Set it in your parts tray. Next, use the old clasp to measure the dimensions needed for the new one. Start by measuring the outside width of the split end of the clasp with your digital gauge. Then, measure the inside of the clasp that fits over the watch band. Use the inside opening jaws of the gauge to find this measurement. It should be about one millimeter smaller than your first measurement. Once you have these numbers in hand, order the corresponding size and color replacement watch band clasp from Esslinger.com. When you have the new clasp in hand, you will want to start by attaching the cover end of the clasp to the watch band first. Take your spring bar and insert it back into the end you removed it from earlier. Holding the watch band with the spring bar inserted, slip the band inside the clasp. Align one end of the spring bar with the corresponding hole in the bottom of the clasp. Take your spring bar tool and use the forked end to press the spring bar down into the watch band. Slide it completely into the watch clasp. Wiggle the watch band around until the spring bar clicks into place. You can now attach the other end of the clasp to the band. Take the two loose ends and hold them together so the corresponding holes line up, like this. Insert your friction pin part of the way into the clasp and band. Carefully place the clasp in the watch band holder to keep it steady while you insert the friction pin into the clasp completely. Make sure that the pin is not lined up with a hole in the holder so you don't accidentally push the pin out the other side. Tap gently on the end of the pin with your ball peen hammer. Gradually increase the pressure until the end pins are flush with the outside of the clasp. To avoid scratching your new clasp, use your pin pusher to finish inserting the pin. When both sides of the pin are flush with the watch clasp again, you can remove the watch band from the holder and wear it again with pride. To find watch repair products or to learn more about watch repair, you can check out Esslinger.com's Learning Center today.